There are a couple of experiments in this section, respiration, you need to know about. You need to know about how you can show that CO2 is given off in respiration, and you also need to know uh, about how you can show that heat is given off during respiration. So the first one, this apparatus here, it shows how you can measure the amount of CO2 given off during respiration. And we use an indicator that comes up a couple of times in the IGCC course called hydrogen carbonate indicator. And this indicator changes colour depending on how much carbon dioxide dissolves into it. If there's a lot, it goes very, very yellow. And if there's not very much, it goes kind of orangey, red. And if there's none at all, it will go more towards purple. So here we've got some living organisms and uh, you could use um, seeds, germinated seeds to see how they work, or boiled seeds as a control for those. You could put some little wood lice in there. Uh, and then you can see over time how quickly it takes for the hydrogen carbonate indicator to go from red to a yellow color as more and more CO2 is produced as a waste product of respiration. Remember to control all the other variables to make it a valid experiment. Now, in order to show that heat is produced, you can use this very simple apparatus here, which is two thermos flasks. One has got germinating seeds in it. Germinating seeds are alive and respiring. The other one's got boiled seeds in it, which will be dead because uh, they have been boiled and all the enzymes have been denatured. And you will see, if you leave them for a few hours, that the germinating seeds will release heat as a waste product of respiration. We don't show that heat in the equation, but it is given off. It's an exothermic reaction, so heat is given off. And you'll see the thermometer go up in the germinating seeds thermos, but you won't in the boiled seeds thermos. Why not test your knowledge on respiration by having a go at these quick 10 true or false questions here?